everyone, so for this video I'm going to show you how to make the Starlight Bracelet. Um, I did previously make a video for this. Um, recently I've had a lot of complaints about the video not being clear and I thought it would just be best if I made another one. I did make the video for this um, a few years ago so I wasn't the best at cameras then. I know I've not been on YouTube for a while but I thought it would just be um, best to recreate a video so people do actually understand what's going on. This is what the other side looks like if you're interested and this is the one I made in the video. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. So I guess let's just go on into the video. <laughs> the supplies you will need to make this bracelet are a loom, a hook and some bands. Um, I'm going to be using three colours, um, but you can use as many as you like, um, and also a sequin. Um, I just want to let you know that this bracelet does come out pretty short, um, so you'll probably need to make an extension. This is the one I made in the video, so I have to add an extension. If I make this bracelet on two looms, it will fit around my wrist, but if you do have a larger wrist, you may want to use three if you want it to go all the way around. But if you don't mind adding an extension, I will show you at the end of the video how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is pick out the colour that you want for your border if you haven't already. Um, in this bracelet here, I use the white, so it just goes around here. And I'm going to use white again today, so you're just going to go from this middle peg here, and you're going to go up to the left. Take another white, go from the middle upwards and then another white and go to the right. We're not going to be using this row anymore. Um, this is just so we can close the bracelet in an easy way. Now we're just going to make a single chain up the middle and right sides. So it's really simple. You just go up here like this until you reach the top. I've now reached the top and to finish this part off you just need to place a band just here. So now I'm back at the bottom of my loom and we're going to do these like coloured parts here. So I used the greens for this bracelet. Um, I made a little mini version earlier. Um, yeah this is tiny but um, this is just showing the colours that I'm going to use. So first you're going to take the colour that you want for the blue bit and you're going to place it along this middle row here so all you're going to do is just do another single chain and it's going to go straight over the white chain that you just did so the band placement is quite simple um, you do the same with the other colour that you're going to use on the other side but yeah this is all you do And then I'm just going to stop here and go back to the bottom of my loom and take the other colour which is going to be this like neon yellow colour. Um, so I'm just going to do the same on the right side. So now I've reached the top, I'm going to place the capping band, so I'm just going to turn my loom around really quickly. So I'm going to take my capping band and place it across these two pegs here, twist it round and then bring it back over these two pegs, like this. So I've just gone ahead and pushed my bands down a bit, so it'll make the hooking a bit easier. Um, but now we're going to start hooking, um, and we're going to start by going to this peg here. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is just pick up the single chain band. So it should be the second to last um, border colour. So you go up and then it should come out to the right here. 
Now you're going to go back into that peg and pick up the last band which should be another one of your border colour like that. And now we're going to just hook these single chains up. So go into this peg that's above the one that you just hooked from and pick up the bottom white band and loop up like a single chain. And you're going to do the same on the right. Go in and hook the single chain upwards. And we're going to repeat this until we reach the top of the loom. It's quite simple. So just go in, pick up that border band, loop it's just a single chain but with other bands in the way and we're going to loop the other bands later on just go in and loop also I might like look a bit slow it's because I've got my camera right next to me so it's a bit awkward to like work around it but it's also because I haven't loomed properly in months now like it's been quite a while um, I received a lot of complaints in my other video I thought I'd just make another version that's just the right thing to do so people understand how to actually make the bracelet Okay, so we're not going to loop um, any of these whites that are like going diagonally here yet. So the last ones I looped were the ones from here to here and here to here. Now we're going to go back to the end of our loop. We're going to start looping these coloured bands. This is quite a stressful process. Um, make sure that you don't snap your bands basically. <laughs> Um, I'm using limited edition bands which are quite fragile I guess but I've not had any like snappings or anything I've just been very careful with my bands so you're gonna go into the cat band and pick up this first coloured one here and we're just gonna loop it not to here but up to this peg here um, and now we're just gonna take the hook and pick up the bands that you just looped and move it around the peg here so just take the other one and move it around there that's the only one we're going to do that for because it is kind of stressful moving it around but it's the same sort of idea for all the other bands so now we're going to go into this peg here and pick up this blue colored band and just go in pick that up bring it out and then we go around this peg here and up to the one above it like so okay I've adjusted my camera slightly so you can see as best as possible so we're gonna go into this peg here um, and pick up the yellow so this one so just go in pick that up go around the peg like this around here and then up to the peg above it there we go. Now we're going to go into this right peg here um, and pick up the blue. Go up around this peg here and up here. Now we're going to go back in here, pick up the yellow, go around this peg here and up to here. In here, pick up blue around and up. So it's just the same all the way up the loom. If your bands are looking like they might snap or something, um, something that you can do after you've looped every band from the peg is just move the band like over this. Um, and this helps relieve some of the stress that was there. Um, so you can just go around and move these over like so. Like this. But make sure you're not doing it on any of the bands that you're like currently hooking from like the certain peg because your bracelet will turn out differently otherwise. So I'll just do it like a few pegs behind what I'm working on so I don't get confused. But this is just optional if you feel like your bands are going to snap if you're using um, these rounded bands here. 
Okay, so I'm going to carry on with the looping right now. So I'm just going to go in here, pick up the left band, go around the right one and upwards like this. In here, grab the blue, go around the left one and up. Like this. So as you can see you should have this sort of like zigzag pattern. Um, now I'm going to go back into the right and do that. Left around and up around and up Okay, so I've got the last band here, which should be the one on the right, and this is going to be a bit different to the other ones we've been doing. Um, so we're just going to go in, grab the blue, and then we're going to hook it to both of them. So we're not going around anything, we're just going to hook it to both of these, like this. So you should have this sort of like weird triangle thing going on. And finally, we're going to go into this left peg and pick up this white band that you did not loop earlier. So it should be right at the bottom. Let's pick it up and go here. And then we're going to go into here and pick up the bottom band which should be this one here. And if I can get that. <laughs> and go around to here. Now I'm going to get my C-clip, if I can find it. <laughs> I'm just going to attach my C-clip to these two loops here, for now. Like that. And I'm going to take the bracelet off of my loom. I'm using my hook to do this because it is um, a lot of stress, so be careful with it. Then you have this. Um, if you didn't use um, two or three looms, then it should be this length, and we can add an extension to it now. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to be doing the extension on the hook. You're going to take your hook and go through the loops of that band, and then you can unhook the C clip like this. And you're going to take some of your border colour, hold the band out like this, pull those loops through, and it's just going to be a single chain extension. I don't know why this bit's blurry. I think it's because I'm moving around a lot. So I'm really sorry about that. Hopefully you can still get the gist of what's happening though.
Okay, so I've now finished the extension and I'm going to add my C-clip to these two loops here. So I'm going to hold them between my fingers um, because I find that the easiest way. So I've just taken it off like this and I'm going to take the C-clip and just bring it here like that. And then I'm going to join it up with the cap band which should be around here. Um, it's kind of a bit raised here, um, so just look out for that. And then I'm going to join the two ends together, like that. And now your bracelet is complete. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Um, I hope you understood it better than the other tutorial. Um, yeah, I really did try my best to explain everything. Yeah, if you do make this bracelet, um, please tag me on Instagram. Um, my Instagram is at hamsterloomy and you can also use the hashtag hamsterloomy and hashtag starlight bracelet so I will definitely see it. Um, I love to see your recreations and I love commenting on your posts. Hope you all have a great day. Bye!